Now we are going to do downward facing dog. For downward facing dog, start by coming onto your hands and knees, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your knees underneath your hips. You plan on holding the pose for a long time. Slightly angle your hands out to the side. From this position, walk your hands two to three inches forward, maintaining the same position, but lengthening the stance of your table. Press the roots of your fingers into the mat, special emphasis to press down between your thumb fingers and your index fingers. From here, inhale, drop your belly, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back while pressing your hands down and forward. Keep your knees bent for now. To bring the shoulders into alignment, bend your elbows out to the side, roll them in toward each other, and slowly start to straighten your arms, keeping a micro bend in the elbows to prevent from hyperextending. Fill the space created in your upper back. To bring your lower body into alignment, with your knees bent, tilt your pelvis forward, meaning imagine that you have a dog tail and you're lifting it up toward the sky. Maintaining that forward tilt in your pelvis, slowly start to straighten your legs any amount. Gently pull your low belly in to reduce any arch in your back and gaze toward your navel. And if you feel any tweakiness in your neck or that's not comfortable, gaze between your knees. Staying active in the pose, pressing your hands down and forward as you tilt the pelvis forward. Breathe deeply and explore how it feels to be in this pose. To exit the pose, take one last inhale here, and at the bottom of your exhale, lower your knees down to the mat, coming completely out and releasing. Downward facing dog.